10 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay, they are saying 10 seconds, they are saying 10 minutes. Let's talk about four letters. Now, how many possible combinations might there be in this? Just give me an exponent. 26 is to 4. Very good. So, what if we also include lowercase and uppercase? Both. 52 is to 4. Exactly. As you can see here. Now, this is a very simple web page that I designed. The purpose was to capture their usernames and passwords. Now, notice what's happening. This inverted comma was supposed to end here. Okay, so this is a secure password. It's me or it's me. Is it a secure concept? Right. Unfortunately, this is how we are tricked. You see, even though this password has all of this, this has 28 bits of entropy. And entropy, for now, you can just understand that entropy is a measure of randomness of a password. So this has 28 bits of entropy, and at a thousand guesses per second, it will take three days to crack this password. So the difficulty to guess is easy, and on the other hand, the difficulty to remember is hard. As you can see, stick figure so try. Ki was it trombone? No, it was trombone. And ek ok by leg zero tha. So this is difficult to remember, but easy to guess. On the other hand, this password has 44 bits of entropy. And at a thousand guesses per second, it will take 550 years to crack this password. And at the same time, it is easy to remember. Because we've already memorized it. So that is to say that through 20 years of effort, we have successfully trained everyone to use passwords that are easy for computers to guess, but difficult for us humans to remember. There are four digits which are minimally set. This has 10,000 possibilities, or 10 to the power 4, because it has four digits. 0 through 9, so 10, 10, 10, 10, and it becomes 10 to the power 4, which is 10,000 possibilities. 10,000 possibilities go, yes, can you make it not in the game? That's minute. That's minute. Okay, anyone else? 10,000 possibilities, sir. If you Python program or C program, you execute it. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, they are saying ten seconds. They are saying ten minutes. So let's see what happens when we actually run the code. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. Did you see that? It was less than a fraction of the second. And this has tried all the way from 0, 0, 0, 0 up till 9999. Nine, nine, nine. So an attacker can literally crack this password within a fraction of a second. So now, let's talk about four letters. Now, how many possible combinations might there be in this? Like, number not a number, but just give me an exponent. 26 is to 4. Very good. So this has 26 is to 4 possibilities. And what if we also include lowercase and uppercase? Both. 52 is to 4. Exactly. And this becomes 7 million passwords. And now let's see if it's still cracked in the way. It may get here. But before that, if anyone wants to estimate if it may get then feel free. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay, anyone else? 10 seconds. No second. Achha, last time I've got this print. That's what I say. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. So Abhi, this is we are still in the lowercase A's, the B's. So this might take three to four minutes. So now we are getting somewhere. Abhi, if an attacker wants to crack our password, they will have to do some effort, three or four minutes, really, right? 
but even that is not secure. Like team char minute is not a big deal for an attacker. And actually, um, if we go out in a coffee shop, for example, an attacker easily has three four minutes with our phone, right? So I'll stop this. I'll not let this complete. Okay. Now, kitne logo ko dark web pata hai? Dark web. What is dark web? Okay. And dark web ko access kaise kiya jata hai? How do we access? Door. Correct. So recently, I had conducted a group experiment, which me I gave them a Tor link like this one, as you can see here. Now this is a very simple web page that I designed. The purpose was to capture their usernames and passwords. The purpose of my experiment was to grab the credentials of my group. So what I did was I gave them this link. and abically i'll uh, i'll show you in the local host because tor is very slow if you view tor you would know ki tor may speed bahut kam hoti hai so what i did was i made them register to this website and i did not tell them ki mai banaye i just told them ki yeah this is a here's a cool website and i'll just log in i mean, i'll just register here yeah so as we can see Welcome. If you are seeing this message, it means you are new here. I'm Ash, the creator of Shadow Forums. The purpose was to make them click this and this. And as I as I told you earlier, dictionary attacks be is there, but we'll come to that later. So breached credentials. Is there? If I type in Jay Shah at the rate gmail gmail dot com and I hit enter, let's see what happens. Okay, so now you can see a list of usernames and a list of passwords, and all of this is from previously hacked databases. This is all from previously hacked databases, and I told them to also check your password if your password has been leaked or not. So if I type in one, two, three, four, five, six, and hit enter, okay, look at this. This password has been compromised these many times. If I enter, say, a very secure password, okay, this password has been compromised thirty-three times. So, if anyone of you wants to chime in with their own password, feel free to do so. We can check it over here if anyone wants. <laughs> Okay, why? Good call. This was a social engineering attack because my friends, what they did was, they only put their password and username and their card there. But unfortunately, what they don't realize is that I am the creator of this, and that's why I can access the admin panel. And go to users, and would you look at that? So I had all of their usernames and all of their passwords with me, and this was all done through Tor, through this website specifically. And the social engineering attack, I had this starting say it earlier. If I go back and I log out as admin, so, so registration, I will show you below that note. Do not use any use any of your existing passwords when registering. It's the best practice to keep your account safe. All of this was done to build that trust. कि हाँ भाई ये website secure है. And the moment they started trusting this website, I grabbed their credentials and I मैंने reveal कर दिया कि भाई I have your credentials. You should change them now. But this is how it went through. And every part of this website was designed to make you think कि you are safe. For, for example, this. This was disguised as a chat forum. कि यहाँ पे you can chat and you there is there are also rules and the rules are they are pretty convincing as well. And at the end, I revealed to them that this developer, so to speak, that you are seeing, Ash J Mayahi, was none other than me.